Hey everybody, Mountain Dew Mania here. Welcome back to Sky Factory 3. I'm here. How are you guys doing? I am doing Beach Keen. Uh, I've been working. I have been working. Been trying to, anyway. Let me show you what I have been working on. Hello, little worms. Okay, let me tell you what I uh, got commented on the worms. Uh... Scoop and Connor Calvin said that these little worms, they till and they water. A, each one will do a three by three area, I think they said. And so I don't, you don't have to have the block in the middle. And I don't know how long they last though. So, I mean, because I'm pretty sure I've replaced these once, I think. Pretty sure I have. So, they're cute, I mean, but do they work in the plants? I'm, I'm going to have to plant some stuff here and find out. Uh, but I did, thanks, guys, for filling me in on that. I am up to magenta on my chickens. I have, hello, Stad Muffin. I have got, oh, there's a 10, 10, 10. And a 10, 10, 10. Woohoo! Yes, yes, yes. What did I do? Yes, here they are, my animal nets. You can see I'm getting all kind of stuff. Um, let's see if I can get in and out uh, without anybody running out the door. Okay. So here is a 10, 10, 10. Here is, uh, excuse me, and you are a 10, 10, 10. There we go. I did run into a problem. Stud Muffin here is doing his job too well. If you click on Stud Muffin, uh, this is where you put seeds. I strongly suggest if you don't want 10,000 chickens when you come back, put maybe 10 seeds in here or something because I've just been throwing stacks at him and when I get close enough and the chunk's loaded, I come back and there is like 30 or 40 chickens over here. I kid you not. So I've just been dropping a few seeds on Stud Muffin and letting him do his thing that way. So those I will get rid of. All right. So uh, let's see. Seeing. Let's do seeing. We'll do seeing next. All right. And we will take. Where did I say I put them? Over here. Yeah. I will put. Here is the magenta. And they are 10, 10, 10. I think I've done, you know, there's the lapis. We just finished those. So now we will do red, yeah, we will do seeing. So, and close. There we go. Uh, what did I do? There we go. Here we go. So here is a seeing and a seeing. All right. So good luck with that, and I will bring you some more seeds in just a minute. Uh, and you can continue with your awesome stud muffing. Stud muffing? Is that a word? Uh, let me put these right here. All right. So something else I said we were going to talk about. I did look at my corner. Uh, I think it's over there. To see if it would be big enough for a blood altar. Because they take up a lot of room. Upon looking at a blood altar, I have to... Do check this out. I don't even know what this is. Blood altar. I'm pretty sure that's a blood altar from Blood Magic, right? Okay. No, that's the only blood altar there is. Okay. I have to have something called a demonic will. Okay. An imprint of a demonic entity <laughs> attached to a creature. Can be obtained by killing a mob with a sentient weapon or by throwing a snare at a mob and killing it while it has white particles. Now, it doesn't say what kind of mob. So, if you do string, iron, and redstone, you get rudimentary snares. Throw at a monster and then kill them. So, it has to be a mean mob. It can't be like a chicken or a cow or something, right? It has to be a bad guy. 
it figures. Okay, so you're making babies. Good with the babies. Okay, what else did I want to talk about? Oh, I am an idiot. I think we've established this over the years because I just don't pay attention to what I'm doing. So, with my Solium dagger, I was trying to get chunks, right? So, I come down here to my handy dandy little thingamabobber and I'm chopping away at them and I'm like, okay, I'm not getting any chunks. Where's my chunks? The reason I'm not getting any chunks is because I didn't think to look in here with the little item collector on top because they got sucked in. Okay, I'm an idiot. Okay, I admit it freely. Uh, oh, and you can get chicken chunks when you take the knife and you chop up a chicken because I tried. There it is. So I have got an experience chunk I have got some skeleton chunks, and I have got some zombie chunks. Okay? Not too bad. All right. So, I just wanted you to, We'll get back to that sooner or later. I just got a lot of stuff going. As you can tell, I have been working on my diamond thing. Uh, I just wanted kind of a reference as to where I need to go. So, I did the shift thingamabobber and done that. That was fun. Had a lot of fun getting down, too. Uh, so, what else have I been doing? I made the snares. We will look into that. Um, let's. I haven't glanced at this in a while. I don't know what has been going on over here. Oh, I did set up uh, a deco craft uh, table. I got some drawers I'm going to be doing. Uh, I've got a little bit of dye in there, uh, the clay not much um but i will play with that later so let's see where we are uh i haven't even really glanced at this in a while i've go i've got 17 triple let's see will that do all right so there is a couple of quadruple all right okay it's going along that's all i need it to do i will probably set up also off of this I need to do a quantum storage unit because one of the tasks is, I could probably do it off that too, um, fill a quantum storage, I'm not, I ain't jumping between no, oh, you crazy, um, that's in the works, yeah, fill a quantum storage unit with anything, okay, so anything uh, i'm assuming cobblestone is anything is it dark already almost good lord i never get anything done so let's look at a uh, storage storage unit uh quantum vast hmm okay so quantum storage city and chess machine chassis Okay, we can make one of those. All right, that's not too bad. I'll have that set up next time. Uh, so we can get that started. I will hook it over with um, over with that thing my Bobby, and we'll get that going. Okay, chickens are coming along. I haven't really had time to do anything. Uh, how you guys doing? Don't nobody run out. I don't even know what I'm doing with y'all anymore. Y'all just standing there. Uh, no. Stay. I want to keep my compressed chicken. We will look really, really quick because I did want to show you something up here that I found. I think it's kind of cool. Um, I'm using some of the different woods up here from my trees, like a eucalyptus and tiger and stuff like that, just to give it different colors. Let me see. What did I do? Uh, I'm trying to keep this stuff down and organized. Some of it I just do not need. So it's going to the trash. Uh, as you can see, I'm I'm getting there. I'm getting there. This is going to ouch hurt. Um, eat. Can I eat? No. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So I've been doing. I've been bringing also the ones up from the squid farm. Um, I could probably just set this up down there too. I guess instead of bringing them all the way up here or pipe them up or something. Yeah, I could do that. Uh, we can make some ender chest thingamabobs. We might do that. So, I'm getting some cool stuff as these open. 
um, getting chance cubes. Um, I love this. I told Nikki, and Nikki's like, yeah, I knew that. I got an Inferium Apple. That's kind of cool. Weird colored slime balls. Lava Charm. What in the world is that? Uh, I did get some coarse flowers. That's pretty cool. I might plant those. I don't need them for anything, I don't think. Hmm. Oh, check these out. I ain't got a clue what that was. Oh, my God. That looks so freaky. Uh, some of these portal charms. I've never even messed with dark utilities. I have no idea. Um, crystals. Uh, some capacitors. But, yeah, that looks... I don't have a clue what that is. Got a, a Baconator. If you're ever wondering what these do, you can get different ones. They hold different foods, and they just you put them in your on your toolbar, and they feed you. Basically, is what it does. Um, and you can go from just ordinary cooked pork chops all the way up to some like bacon cheeseburgers, bacon mushroom burgers. Those things have some awesome uh, foodage value. Blue slime crystal, uh, mana pearl. I got to get back into Batania too. We'll work on that next time. But yeah, I'm getting some odd things right here. But let me show you. Uh, it's dark again already. I have got a bacon bag, and another bacon bag, and I've got have got a Soren bag. So I thought I would open. The, I'm sure this has some kind of bacon in it. Of course, raw pork chops. I should have known. What does a Soren bag have? Ooh, nether quartz, chest, and a stick. Very cool. Thank you, Sword. I'll take everything I can get. But, yeah, that's coming along. This is taking... I, I get distracted. Uh, that's my problem. I want to do everything at one time, and I get nowhere fast. All right, so let me sleep, and then we will come back, and we will look at some cooking with blockheads. All right, I'll be back in just a second. Okay, I'm back. And, of course, the phone rang, but at least I was paused when it did, so you didn't have to put up with me clipping in and editing in. All right, so I have also been working on, uh, see, I've got the snares. Got the, I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. And I've been trying to, every time I get some bows, my bow toxic, um, bow toxic, yeah, play, <clears throat> play on words. I have been trying to upgrade that a little bit. I've been using some of uh, my um, stuffage, so I'm trying to be careful. But I wanted to get into, uh, I love cooking for blockheads. This is one of just the funnest, coolest things if you, especially if you're on a server and you need a lot of food, this is definitely, you want this in a, in your, like your village or your town or something uh, available to everybody because this is so much fun. So basically what you need to do is, these are the different components. Um, you got a cooking table. Okay, this enables the crafting abilities. You have an oven, and you got to add some of uh, dishes to that to get it to work. There is a fridge. I usually like to make two fridges so I can have a full fridge and a sink. This provides the water to the recipes. Okay, so it's easy. Uh, black hardened clay. You just uh, put clay, uh, sand in. Is it sand or dust? Is it sand? I think it's sand. You just put it in a stone barrel, and click it in water, and uh, you get clay. That's the easiest way to do it. Unless, of course, you have a clay chicken, which I don't have yet, but as soon as I get all my colors done, then I'll start in on breeding. Um, so then you have to do the Cooking for Blockheads 2 book, um, which is, let me show you, um, Cooking. Let me show you real quick. Uh, that is the book two, and to get the book one, you just got to cook a book, and you can get the one, uh, so it's pretty simple to do that, all right, so there is that, this is the fridge, and I like to make two of those, uh, here is the oven, and here is the sink, now I was worried, is there like, uh, a part of the, you had to have them in a certain order to work. Uh, Elder Sign says no. And I am pretty sure he is correct. Uh, I also have made tool racks and I've made spice racks. Okay. So let's look at those real quick. Tool 
rack. Okay, there is that right there. And it's just slabs and nuggets, okay? It provides tools to the recipes. And then, not a, um, spice racks. And there's deco craft, that's just decoration though. And it's just a slab and you get a spice rack. And it stores spices and ingredients, okay? I don't know if it has to be on it or near it or touching it. I put them right here, so I don't know. I'm going to have to check into that. Let me get some of my stuff out of the way. And I'm pretty sure, like I said, these don't go in any particular order. There is also a counter you can make um, right here. Stores ingredients. It has storage. And you can make a toaster. So, and what was I making over here? I think I was going to show you. Yeah, this is um, this is how you make. Uh, you can do the blockheads, and then you do diamonds, crafting tables, and you get a blockhead too. Okay, so that is that easy. There is my cow in a jar full of nice fresh milk. And I'm wondering if I move that, will that provide milk? Hmm. Very interesting. Maybe. All right, so I'm going to do, let's see, how do I want to do this? I will do, hmm, because apparently it doesn't matter. So I'm going to do, what is that? That's the oven. So let's do, there is the cooking table. And we will do the oven. And we will do the fridge right here. And put another fridge on top of it. Um, there we go. Now we get a full fridge. Okay. And then we will do the sink right here. Very awesome. Okay. And then what do I need to make the counter? Um, more black hardened clay and a chest. Did I keep any of that upstairs? Let's see. Uh, get off the tree. I go, I'm going to have to rearrange all this. Um, yep, I did. Woohoo! So there is that. There is that. There is a kitchen counter. Okay. And I want a toaster. Toaster. From, there we go. Uh, button. Oh, I set that up somewhere. Oh, no, there it was. There it was. I knew I got the stuff. What was it now? Um, button, iron, lava, and a trap door. Button. I think this was it. If I do it real quick, I won't forget it. No. Nope. Was it that? There we go. Uh, there is. Magically turns bread into toast. Awesome. Okay. All right. So I'm wondering now, can I sit? Let's put the counter right there there okay see it's just extra storage uh which like if you had like a whole row of these that would be really cool and put the toaster right there all right now i'm wondering would i have to put these over these to make them work I don't know if it um, if it specifies or does it matter or hmm ah oh, okay okay is it can I do it there okay you still do it there okay hmm maybe it doesn't matter I am very very curious very very curious hmm Hmm. Okay, if you know, let me know, all right? So there is cooking for blockheads, uh, the kitchen. I think that's pretty much, is that everything that's, let's see. Cooking, is that everything that I can make? Toaster, yeah, count a jar, the books. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That I, I could add like some more uh, counter space, I guess. You know what would be really cool? If they had, like, cabinets. Man, that would be so awesome. Hey, cooking with blockhead, guys. 
make cabinets to go with the counters. That would be freaking cool. So everything should be together now. And then I'll have to make like some bakeware, pots and pans to put in there, put in some fuel. And whatever I put in this fridge, um, do I have to put water in the sink or does it just automatically make, add water? Hmm. See, because in my inventory right now what I have, I can make cooked pork chops, fresh water, salt, and stock. That is so cool. I love it. Yes, I love it. All right, so now we got somewhere to put all of our veggies that we're going to grow. All right, so I have talked another day away. Uh, I am so sorry. I get so into the stuff, and I just lose track of time. So we will be keeping an eye on our um, quad, what is it, the octuple block. I will also add, um, I think I will add to this, because I think it can handle some more. I can uh, uh, do some upgrades or something. But, yeah, coming right along. Coming right along. And I could loop this back. I don't really mind. It's not a big deal. I will make a quantum watch them do flippy. And we will put it right here. And we will start filling. I don't know how much they hold. But I, I'm pretty sure it's a lot. If I remember correctly, uh, it seemed like a whole lot. We will get back into Batania next time a little bit. And I will keep on keeping on with the chest. And that's pretty much all I've done so far. I just kind of get lost in doing one thing and kind of forget what I'm doing, you know. So anyway, um, I'll catch you guys next time here on Sky Factory 3. I'm so out of here. Later, guys.